God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, happy Sunday to you. I'm popping in with a surprise word. I did not have this on my agenda to post today, but I do want to be honest and I want to be timely. So it's three things that I want to say to you that the Holy Spirit put on my heart because there's been a lot of demonic activity going on. And there are a few things that God wants me to tell you from a practical vantage point, And he wants me to tell you from an, uh, a, a word of knowledge standpoint. So here's the first thing. You all know, if you listen to my page, I often talk about on a basic level, if you're not super spiritual, good versus evil, meaning I'll often say, you know, oh, the Lord say this, but the enemy trying to do that. This is something the Lord wants me to highlight prophetically to someone right now. Be very careful in that part right now. God wants some of you to be practical and understanding what's going on around you. Don't over spiritualize what's going on. Do not over spiritualize it. Because if you over-spiritualize it, you are going to miss the reality and the practical, hands-on, real-life things that are not in the sky, that are not super spiritual and not, not, not um, I don't want to say not biblical because, you know, we, we, we base what we believe in in that. But it is not, that should not be your focal point. Your focal point should be to stay connected to God and be led by the Holy Spirit, okay? But... Do not get so caught up in God say this and the devil said that and the devil da, da, da. don't get caught up in that right now because let me tell you there is some high level unsavory activity going on and the goal is to say this person so holy this person so this they so that that they doing x y and z we gonna shut that down. The Lord wants you to stay silent and stand and believe on that word. But I'm going to need some of y'all to get into them Proverbs today. Get into those Proverbs. And I want you to pay attention to the fact that there are times when God will give us instruction spiritually, but the Lord will always give us something to do physically and practically. Everything is not going to fall out of the sky. The scripture says, if you don't work, you don't eat basically right? So here's what I'm telling you. You can be very genuine and passionate about your belief and what God is telling you to do right now. And you're super spiritual about it, but make sure if God is giving you a promise or he's showing you something that's ahead, that if it requires you to do practical work, I know you may want it to fall out the sky. I know you may want somebody to come and sow a seed, but God may be telling you to do it the practical way. He may be telling you to get up and go somewhere because this is what you have to understand. There are people who are literally, their job is to destroy every, every uh, divine connection, every divine opportunity, everything that God sent. There are people who have been used, okay? They are being used to connect to the people that you love, the people that love you, the people who have your opportunity, the, the, the situation that's set up for you to be blessed and to be exalted and to do the things God wants you to do. You have to understand me. There are people who will study you. They will study the people around you. They will pay attention to the people that will help and what they will do. Y'all better hear me out right here. They will put in a deep, intricate plot and things will be made to be a way that are not so. And the reason why the enemy is able to get a lot of people like this that are super spiritual and they leading with that, guess what? He's like, oh, they're so pie in the sky. They're so this and that. But that's the thing. You got to stop. You got to stop falling for that. You have to stop being so, oh, I'm so this, I'm so that. And the word of the Lord, no, we know that's what the word of the Lord says. But God is trying to elevate you. God is trying to show you, listen, son, listen, daughter, you don't always have to lead with that. That needs to be who you are. That needs to be who you are in your core. That is one of the biggest lessons I have learned in my life. It just needs to become you. It needs to be you. You don't always have to project it because what y'all have to understand in this season, the enemy wants to silence you 
And what you think is, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, mountaintops, I'm going to do this. There's a season and time for that. But sometimes there is a season and time to be circumspect, which means to be cautious. Okay? If somebody keep telling you, you got to do this every single time when it comes to the Lord, I would, listen, I would just test that by the spirit. I would just test that by the spirit. Because what's happening is, if you move in the same way and you're not understanding that some of you, not all of you, with the way some of you are called, you can't move like that. Because what's going to happen is you're going to end up in a space where you might start believing the lies being told to you or said about you. Okay, then you might begin questioning the things that God told you when you know you 100, when you know who you are. You do not want to find yourself in that space because it doesn't mean that it's not going to come. Okay, but God wants to elevate how you move and how you use your tools that he's given you to win these wars and win these battles. Some of the wars, some of the battles and some of the things that you're going to encounter, you are going to win those things. Hear me out. You are going to win those things by changing up your posture right now in this season. What worked before is not going to work now. And here is my thing. You already moving with a pure heart. You already moving honestly. You're already moving the way God wants you to move. And this is, this is what I tell anybody who's a believer, anybody who op operates in a spiritual gift, anybody who has a calling on God where he could, he could be showing you things ahead of time. Some of y'all have, you know, you have, we all have all types of spiritual gifts God may give us, right? This is what I want you to know. And I can guarantee this. Once you operate in that gift, you will be attacked. You will be attacked. So don't be naive thinking that it's not going to happen. And in my case, multiple times. And every single time I have had to just wait and let God be God. So I don't want that to frighten you and I don't want that to scare you. But that's not what this is about today. What this is about right now is you understanding that how you've been moving may need to be edited so that God could get the full glory. Don't let your flesh make you say things and let your passion make things fly out of your mouth and, and, and show people things that God don't want you to show them. Okay. I want you to be really careful about that. Okay. So number two, the second thing is this, look at everything that you felt you were supposed to be working on in this season, things that you, you know, you know, maybe it was just goals. I don't know. I personally, when I write goals and things that I desire, I always ask for guidance. I always just like to be quiet so that I could hear clearly on what direction I'm supposed to go in. So some of you may have things that you feel God told you to do and others, others, others of you may just have goals and then you just trust in God to lead you along the path. However you did it, I want you to go back and look at those things. I don't want you to, but I'm being led to tell you, go back and look at those things. If there are any of those things that you started to endeavor and then you started getting a lot of uh, back. Uh, excuse me, pushback, a lot of opposition right there. You need to pray through those things. And those of you who've been working on things and all of a sudden you just got tremendous opposition. I want you to stop what you're doing and I want you to hear me out. Okay. Trust me when I tell you the Lord is using me to just edify you in that this is only confirmation. I'm not telling you about something to come. I'm telling you about something that you are already feeling and dealing with in your spirit. Okay. Make sure you get to the bottom of those distractions of the things that you were working on that caused you to stop. Because I'm supposed to let you know you have to complete those tasks. Those tasks are going to open up doors for you that will absolutely change your life. Okay? They're going to change your life. These things are going to be so jarring and so mind-blowing that you're going to see once they happen why you were attacked so badly in the completion of those things. Okay? Please hear me out. This is so important, and this is very specific to those of you who have been expecting and trusting God up in, up in this little space right here for what's to come, okay? And this is the third and final thing, y'all. This is pretty short today. And before I finish, I want you to make sure that you like, you share, subscribe, you turn on the notifications, guys. Okay, I really appreciate all your love and support. Don't forget, y'all, we trying to get to a million views, y'all, before, you know, I wanted to get it by the end of the first quarter. We can still do that. We're still working on getting those views up. 
And I want to make sure if you have not, you can hit the link in the description and you can get the entire series on forgiveness. You could also download the ebook. You can also get the videos on moving. You can also get that ebook and surprise, surprise y'all. I am dropping the third ebook of the year. You know, I wanted to do three each quarter. So that's one each month. I want to re revisit one that I did some years ago in 2017 called Overwhelm with the Weight. So you will get Overwhelm with the Weight, the remix. You are going to get that, and that will drop at the end of March, end of third quarter with a bang, and you will also be able to begin to set the notifications for the reminders because the uploads of those videos will be up this week, and you'll be ready and prepared. So when it comes, you will join me live, and we can talk them out and really enjoy that process. And I have one other dope thing to tell y'all that's dropping in April, but I got to wait. I will drop that when Overwhelmed with the Weight drops. Okay, so we did all our housekeeping. Again, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. This is number three. So number three is actually pretty incredible. So something that I saw was that, again, the words that I'm telling y'all right now are things that you're currently experiencing. This is not, this is not for what's ahead. This is what's going on right now. There's some of you who have been affiliated with something or someone, okay? But specifically, it's a thing that I'm seeing. It could possibly be a person, but what I'm seeing is you have a blessing in your life that is an unexpected blessing, okay? Now, Oftentimes, when we have unexpected blessings, we could either chase them away, cut them off, or not recognize them because oftentimes when something, again, obviously is unexpected, you don't see it coming, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have more clarity as I'm speaking. This is specifically for an opportunity. This is, this is, this maybe one person might have this for, for uh, an actual human connection, but I'm talking about an opportunity. Okay, hear me out. There's an opportunity for one of you right now, and it doesn't seem like something you will consider. You even heard the opportunity, okay? But you didn't even take it as an opportunity because it's so far left from what you do and who you are. In fact, some of you have even shared this with other people. Like, hey, maybe you should check this out. Or, hey, maybe you should do this. But if this is going to be the thing to confirm it's you, after you sent it, you were like, well, I don't know. That might have been something cool to do, even though normally it's something you never think about. Well, this is what I want to tell you. Definitely go back and revisit that. This is only for the person who asked God that. This is only for the person who had been waiting to see like, you know what? This is a little different. It might be a little bit off the beaten path, but this is something I wouldn't mind doing. I, I can consider this. If that is you, that is something that you need to revisit. I can only give you a part of what I know, which is that, and then you can proceed after that. But I would like to encourage you to bring that back to God because in this season, many people are going to be getting gifts. Many people are going to be getting opportunities and the package is going to be so far left that you may even try to give this gift away to someone else. Ooh. And I'm not going to go deeper than that, but some of y'all know uh, that that could be for some other things too, but I'm going to let that go. I'm not released to say that, but you're going to know what I'm talking about. You don't want to give away your blessing because of the package. Because let me tell y'all something. Sometimes we can be really brutal with things that we think are so far away from us and what we like and what we stand for and who we are. And God be sitting there shaking his head like, boy, girl, that's everything that you ever wanted. But I purposely put it like that because I'm trying to check your heart. So while God is doing these heart checks, make sure your heart is pure. Because you don't want to be turning away things and gifts from God because you're shallow and superficial or because you think things should go a certain way. If you are really about expanding and opening up your heart and mind the way God intended for us to operate, again, hear me out. Work in progress myself, y'all. I too am working with that myself. But once you understand that there could be so much more in a package that don't, you know, just doesn't tickle your fancy, you will be learning that oftentimes that is the gateway to bliss. God will often send you blissful situations and it could look chaotic or it could even look like something you would never deal with in a million years. So those are the three things I wanted to share with you and I hope that they bless whoever needs it. Also, I want to say this one last thing too. For some of you, just take it easy. It's just been a lot of stress. You got to take it easy. 
you know, take it easy, man. Take it easy. And the reason why I say that is because it's going to be in your taking it easy. You're going to see that God has been trying to do the hard stuff for you. You, but you've been making it hard. Take it easy. And you watch what God does. You, you, you watch how light he makes your load. That's a very simple, straight to the point message, but take it easy so God could take care of the hard part. Okay. Thank you guys for listening. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.